What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the new and ultimate Mortal Kombat 1 cameo tier list updated with the new Fair Update and Takeda, but this is the cameo tier list and I know a lot of you guys, you know, when it comes to cameos, really think about, oh, how much damage can I get out of this cameo? How many combos can I extend with them? And that is great. Cameos are meant to extend your damage, extend your combos, but that's not what they're all about. I'm taking into consideration for this tier list, damage output, combo extension, utility, and how compatible are they are with most of the roster. Because if one cameo is only good for like one main character, they're not really a great cameo. Like they're great for that one character, but they're not good for the entire roster. Whereas if another cameo is pretty good, but they're pretty good with the entire roster, I think that makes them a better cameo overall than those other cameo that is just good for one character. You know what I'm saying? And as we get started, I need you guys to understand this is my opinion, my take with my experience playing Mortal Kombat 1. If you disagree, that's totally cool. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content while you're at it. And let's get right into this tier list and we are going to be starting off hot cyrax is an amazing cameo especially with the new update man he he is great he can make you safe on unsafe stuff extend combos for good damage he doesn't offer really any mix but his bomb can be dropped if he gets hit and he can extend certain combos with the net and doing so also drains your opponent's bar if you haven't watched my top five cameo video already i did put him in the top five he is a phenomenal cameo and i will not be changing my mind he is awesome next we have darius oh by the way our tiers we have here is the top five they are like undoubtedly again in my experience my opinion the top five then we have solid right beneath that meaning they are a solid account you, you can't really go wrong when using them we have like and eh, they're okay but they could be a lot better and then the very bottom where they are just a bad cameo they need a ton of work to actually be viable i don't think we're gonna have too many cameos in that tier but it is there in case we in my opinion run into it okay so anyways back to darius 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 does offer the mix combo extension, but the combo extension uses your entire bar. He can drain the opponent's bar if you use the entire thing. He's not bad. If you know how to use him right, he's great. I'm going to put him in, in, in solid. He's a pretty solid cameo. After playing Farah for more than a couple dozen hours of game time, she is an absolute blast, and I think she's top five, man. She's top five. She gives any character an automatic mix that goes into a launcher for combo extension. She can give you a damage buff up to twice. She can help you get super meter and extend aerial combos. She is just, she's, she's top five. She's just so good, and she's just so much fun to play. Alright, Frost, even with the new update, even with her new move, the uh, the new ice wall where you can do a corner combo uh, anywhere on screen. I still think she's all right. I, I mean, the low is is fine. It's, it's good for mix up. The orb is still way too slow. And the new wall, again, it's good. But like, I, I most characters don't really care about doing a corner combo all the time. It, like, it, like, it's cool when you can do it, but it's not like necessary to the point where I'm going to choose Frost over other cameos. I don't think she needs a ton of work. She's just, she's just all right. Goro with the new damage buff, it is, it, he's great he's great he offers combo extension and now you can cancel his air punch and do like his punch walk and stuff for more combo extension and more damage but that uses your entire cameo bar and i feel like i would rather be more resourceful and use you know half my cameo bar for other damaging stuff i still think he's a solid character and he's pretty compatible with most of the roster so i'm gonna put him in, a, in like a solid cap he's a pretty damn solid cameo you know a lot of people would put janet cage in the top five i don't i think she's great i think she's just a solid cameo the problem is 99 percent of people that use janet only use her for the one move and that's her air punch which to you know you can extend combos and get more damage then that is great but i hardly ever see anybody use her double agent move her nut punch move they only use her for the one move and i would rather use other cameos that offer other awesome moves so again she's really good i could i could see why you might put in your in your top five but but she's just not in mine she's just a solid cameo overall Jax is good Jax is really versatile for a lot of the roster he offers combo extension which equals damage he offers an unblockable which adds pressure i think I think his wake up is also invincible and that's great as well i don't think he needs a ton of work i think he's just a great cameo like if you use him i don't blame you he's awesome Kano, i think is he's, i think he's all right he makes you safe on some stuff that's the main reason why people use Kano is because he makes you safe with the ball roll and the knife you know what actually no i'm, I'm putting Kano bad i'm putting Kano like if that's all he offers a safety on other moves he doesn't really offer crazy combo extension he did uh with like characters like peacemaker and stuff but he got nerfed pretty bad and now it's just like 
like he's just meant for safety on unsafe stuff and a lot of other cameos offer that same thing and other stuff which make them far better i'm putting kano down there in the bad not because necessarily he's a very bad cameo but because he does need work like i want to see kano reworked i think i've seen his laser eye cameo move used like once ever chameleon is without a doubt top five she is probably the best cameo even with her recent nerves she is probably one of the best if not the best cameo again in my opinion my experience uh in in all of mortal kombat one she is phenomenal she offers safety she offers an overhead for mix she offers aerial combo extension she offers projectile and vulnerability she offers a glaive on the ground to extend ground combo she offers basically all of it dude she's amazing kung lao as a cameo offers a teleport for mobility a low projectile for a projectile and for mix and if you know how to use that whole thing on the low projectile into an overhead for a crazy uh hard to block mix he's a really solid cameo i like kung lao quite a bit and even though mataro is very similar to kung lao his teleport just got buffed recently now you can choose you want to be close mid or far so though a lot of players hate zoners he's a really good cameo for a zoner player he also anti-zones because he can actually reflect the projectiles he offers a low for mix and a triple projectile for a combo extension more damage i think mataro is very slept on i think he's top five i think he's a phenomenal cameo that once people start to recognize how good he is people are going to be using him a lot i'm surprised more people don't use mataro as it is right now movado is a very solid cameo he is mainly used for combo extension people hardly ever use the uh the flawless block mechanic he has and i love that he allows basically any character to combo off of grabs and other specials with his bomb but that requires the full cameo bar and other cameos offer grab combos for half the cameo bar so it's just it's just pretty solid serena is the uh the bread and butter of of the cameos in mortal kombat 1 she's a very solid cameo a lot of people only use her for the blades for ground combo extension and that's fine you know for fun combos and good damage sure but i love that she's one of the very few that is easily draining your opponent's super meter bar putting you ahead of the game when it comes to that aspect like for an example i use serena with garris because when i time freeze my opponent i want to drain their bar with serena so i use her myself personally for more utility than i do for combo extension so i think she's a solid cameo all around she offers a fast projectile combo extension utility she's great again another sleeper that i don't think people really think about all the time is scorpion as a cameo and he's he's in my opinion top five because he goes with any character he is so versatile he offers a safe overhead for great mix fireball is combo extension for any character for air combos he has a full screen armored reset move to give you that space you might need as a fighter and with the new update he has the fire aura move making you on fire and then doing damage to your opponent even if they're blocking he offers a ton of stuff and i love scorpion like if you don't know who to use for a cam you're kind of deciding who do i use yeah you can always go serena but scorpion is just is just amazing i'm not gonna lie to you guys even with the new update on sector having the double missile that takes your full cameo bar by the way i think he's all right i don't think he's phenomenal i think he's uh he i think he's close to needing some work the fire does restand you giving you the pressure back as the aggressor the double missile is really cool uppercut is good for combo extension but many of these other cameos offer that or similar to that for better resource management and just better overall i think i think sector is fine i think i don't think he's like super solid but i think he's all right so here's the thing shijinko sh would be in top five five if he didn't have to meditate because the problem with meditating that means you have to be in charge of recharging your own cameo and while he's meditating if he gets hit he's just out of the game he runs off I'm like i'll be back in a little bit he's just super hard to manage and that's one thing but it's like you know that's kind of tied into it's super hard to manage while also when it comes to what he does other cameos offer that for not having to manage them so it's like would you rather manage your cameo make it harder for you or just use a cameo that recharges themselves and offers the same thing because of that again he's not a bad cameo he does need work though like if he didn't have to recharge and he just did it by himself or whatever i think he'd be top five but because of the recharge and the risk that that comes with i think nobody uses him and he's just so hard to really want to use when all these other cameos don't have to recharge manually now sonia like scorpion offers a safe overhead aerial combo extension an invincible wake up move i think scorpion's a little bit better when it comes to other stuff as well but sonia is really solid 
solid, man. I I, I want to use Sonya for a lot of my characters, like Liu Kang. Even Lee Mei is a blast to use a Sonya. So I think she's just solid. She's awesome. In the same ballpark as Kano, uh, Striker and Kano uh, previously before all these nerfs were, were kind of interchangeable. They were used mainly for safety and for combo extension as well. And with the recent nerfs they've both received, they both have kind of gone down to the, again, in my opinion, the bottom tiers here. No one really cares to use striker or kano for for that matter anymore i think he needs some work i think i don't know if he needs to be buffed back to where he was but he needs some work the overhead the low that's great but now farah offers that as a launcher he can make you safe on some strings but a lot of other cameos offer that as well like there's not a ton that striker offers that other cameos don't also offer and do it better sub-zero i think is uh i think is all right i i think he does need a little bit of work i think the real reason people would want to use sub-zero is to make themselves projectile invulnerable which is great but even projectiles like reiko stars can destroy that in like one move and that is super annoying chameleon as jade offers that and then a ton more you might use sub-zero to freeze your opponent for combo extension and trap setup but even then those two things other cameos can offer pretty close to the same and again if not better he does need a little bit of work but i think he's i think he's fine where he's at if you are willing to put the time into tremor as a cameo he is solid the problem is a lot of people aren't willing to put in the time like shijinko needs to be recharged which makes him i think need some work tremor you have to manually change him yourself in the midst of a fight and canceling the change into a move takes your entire cameo bar and so it's like do i want to use my entire cameo bar to get this pop-up or do i just use another cameo that offers a pop-up but only half the cameo bar you see what i'm saying like it's very resourceful management problem when it comes to tremor again in my opinion i love tremor i was actually tremor main in mkx and i was sad to see him just be a cameo in mk1 i understand he's really good he's got a lot of really good stuff in his kits for all three of his variations but it's that management during a fight that makes him again in my opinion not necessarily top five but really solid solid overall i hope he gets a little bit of work in the future but as he stands right now he's a he's a pretty damn good cameo again he's gonna take some time to really get used to and like master but if and once you do he's awesome this match is kind of what i said in my top five cameo video we got cyrax farah chameleon mataro and scorpion not necessarily in that order but they are just the top five again in my opinion solid we got darius goro janet Jax, kung lao movado serena tremor and sonya they are really solid cameos that go with a ton of the roster in Mortal Kombat 1. All right cameos that I think need a little bit of work maybe or they're just okay as they are is Frost, Sector, and uh, Sub-Zero. And then the again in my opinion bottom tier in the sense that they're fine but they they, they, they definitely do need some work and that is Kano, Shijinko, and Striker. Let me know your thoughts on this cameo tier list for Mortal Kombat 1 with the new Pharah update. Who do you believe belong in the top five and why? And don't just say combo extension or like damage like those are great but we need more things for our cameos you know these top five offer a combo extension they offer damage but they also offer utility some of them offer mobility like we need those things in our cameos overall to make your main character you know that much better again let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments subscribe here for more mortal kombat content if you haven't already we have new videos monday and friday and we stream twice a week turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more